here we have two boiler programmers controllers from Danfoss. We've got the 103 and we've got the SET3M. I'm going to concentrate on the SET3M as they're basically the same, um, but the 3M's got a bit more functionality in it. These are quite simple controllers and they're electromechanical. So these aren't plugged into the mains at the moment. I'm just going to explain them to you uh, without them being plugged in. First thing you need to look at is the fact that the set 3M has separate on-offs for water and for heating. So you can have them on constant, you can have them on timed, or they can be off. If these were plugged in at the moment, the lights would show up when it was constant or if the time programs were on. Next, going to look at how you set the time and the programs. First thing you need to do is remove this grey plastic cover. So twist it to the right, twist it clockwise, sorry, anti-clockwise on this one slightly. And then you've got the dial. You see time written here. This should point to the time of the day that it is. So as it's 20 to 1, that's reasonably accurate at the moment. You then have the, you've got the four blobs. These are for the on and off programs. So the red ones, the A and the C, will turn the heating or water on. And the blue ones, the B and D, will turn them off. So A, I suppose red is going to make it warmer. B turns off, it's going to be a bit cooler. You've got the blue and the red there. If you do need to change the time, then you, move, you turn the dial and you turn it in a clockwise direction. Like so. So. So there you are, so we're back to 20 to 1. The, I think the dark is supposed to represent the night and the, the, the light of it the day, I don't think that's critical. So, in terms of setting the time for this, what we've got is, we'll start off with A. Now these are quite difficult, I find, to, to adjust. So we've got A here has been the first coming on for the heating. It's currently coming on at what looks like half past two in the morning, which doesn't seem very sensible. So what we need to do is hold the dial firmly and then move this round and it is really stiff, really quite difficult to do that, I find. So we've put it on now, so it'll come on at six in the morning, go off at eight in the morning. And then in the afternoon, coming on at four, going off at eight. Again, you can move those if you want to change the time. Now up in this corner, we've got here, it says off until C. So what happens is as the day goes by, C will clunk that on and then it will say on until D. Similarly D comes clunk off until A. Now what you can do if you want if for example let's move forward and say right the heating's on if you want to turn the heating off there's a you can move this wheel independently so there we are it's now off until A so it was on so when it goes past D, nothing happens. When it comes to A, next morning, it'll turn on again, and then off until B. That's basically the setup for the set 3M. Put the cover back on. There's a little groove here that you need to line up with the time, and then twist it clockwise. With the 103, essentially the same unit. The only difference is that it's it's all or nothing effectively. So you've got off, you've got timed, you've got constant, but there's no separate switch for heating or hot water. So either this would work on a, a combi boiler where the water is on permanently and is just heated up on demand, or it will work on a circuit where you the options are really that the hot water and the heating will come on at the same time. Other than that, absolutely the same as the set 3M. Okay.
Focus House.